and the eigenvalue of the matrix the cross true matrix the minus 5 to 2 minus 2 and how to calculate we know the formula how to calculate the eigenvalue of a, any matrix first write the characteristic equation let the matrix as a matrix a minus lambda i determinant equal to 0 this is the characteristic equation of eigenvalue matrix a is the given matrix and lambda multiply with i i is unity matrix unit matrix is 1 0 0 1 matrix if you multiply with the lambda i it will be lambda 0 0 lambda and if you subtract this matrix value of this from the given matrix it will be minus 5 minus lambda into 2 minus 2 minus lambda sorry the determinant of this matrix equal to 0 I put the value of a and lambda i to get this determinant matrix very simple now calculate the determinant of the matrix simply multiply this cross multiply both of these and you will get the answer but you will get a quadratic equation 4 equal to 0 the final equation look like this lambda square plus 7 lambda 6 equal to 0 it is a quadratic equation so we will find two value of lambda how to solve this equation you know the quadratic formula to calculate the value of lambda that is lambda equal to minus b plus or minus b square that is 7 square 49 minus 4 ac that is 24 square root divided by 2 it will be 25 square root will be 5 and you will get two value that one is minus 6 another will be minus 1 then there is another shortcut method how to calculate the value of lambda without using the quadratic formula this is a 10th class mathematics this formula just remember it you know the format of this equation equal to x plus a all into x plus b this is the formula if you compare this general formula with this equation then you can find out the value of lambda without using quadratic equation in very few seconds just observe the equation this equation shows that that is 7 means a plus b equal to 7 that is 6 means a b equal to 6 2 number whose multiplication is 6 and 2 number whose addition is 7 now what are these two numbers these two numbers are one is 6 another is 1 if you add 6 plus 1 that will be 7 if you multiply these two numbers 6 into 1 it will be 6 so you got the answer that will be x plus 6 all into x plus 1 equal to 0 then x plus 6 equal to 0 and another will be x plus 1 equal to 0 so x will be minus 6 and another x will be minus 1 you get this two answer by using the quadratic formula and it will it is very simple method no need to calculate by using the quadratic equation it is simply you observe the question and give the answer and your answer will be minus 6 minus 1 and the final answer will be a